happy Monday. Uh, before we go too far into it, I just want to give you a quick reminder that we are in the middle of our listener review giveaway. So if you want to participate in this, we're trying to spread the word about this podcast so we can help more women that are just struggling with overwhelm and so much on their plate. And we want to offer the support and the guidance and the structure of being able to build flexible routines that work for any life, no matter where you are. So if you want to participate in this giveaway, you're going to go join us on Facebook in our Facebook community. It is a free community. Go to facebook.com slash groups slash the routine advantage community. And you're going to find the pin post at the top of the group. It has all the details listed there. If you need to see them in writing, leave a review on any of the podcast apps that you listen to. So whatever platform you're listening on, go ahead and leave a review and screenshot it. If you are on Apple Podcasts, we do ask that you leave a written review with the stars. So then that posts on there. I think Apple Podcasts is the only one you can actually write the review. So that's why we're asking that. And then screenshot it and then go and drop it in the comments of that pinned post. If you have already left a review for us, thank you. Um, But also, if you've already left a review and can't leave another one, then you could also text one of your favorite episodes of our show to a friend or share it on your social media and screenshot that and then come and drop that in the comments of that pinned post. That's all you have to do. And then you are entered into the giveaway for your very own copy of Your Organized Life Blueprint. And you can enter anytime between now and the end of De- uh, <laughs> I almost said December. Between now and the end of February, you have that time frame and you can enter every day if you want to share it every day. So it's going to be super exciting. I'm excited to see who wins. Um, but that is all you have to do to enter. And now we can get into today's episode. Are you ready to stop the chaos, the stress, the overwhelm that's filling your life? I'm Renee Matt, and together you and I are going to build simple routines that are going to change your life. When you put these habits into practice, you're going to be able to organize your life in a way where you can be there for your family, pay off your debt, save money, your house can stay organized, you don't have to stress about what's for dinner, and you still get time for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the Routine Advantage Podcast. So today we are talking about the benefits of a daily walk. And if you are in a place in your life right now where you're like, I don't have time to be walking every day. I have so much going on. I just want you to listen to this episode anyway, because you might find that it is very helpful. I want you to first think about back when you were a kid and how you spent your time as a kid. Like, We didn't, I mean, if you're my age, (laughs) at least around my age or older, um, you didn't grow up with cell phones and most of us didn't have, you know, um, I don't even think there were laptops around when I was really little, or at least I wasn't exposed to them much. I remember the big, you know, boxy computers that are only green print on the screen. Like, I mean, so far back, but, um, We didn't have all the technology that we're surrounded with right now. So when you were a kid, you probably spent a lot of time outside. And you think about that time being outside as a kid and you're playing in the yard, you're running through the woods, and you just spend hours out there. Some of my best memories as a child are outside and usually in the woods. And I was usually in the woods building forts with my brother. Like those are some of my best memories. But one of the things that you think about when you were outside playing as a kid, unless you, you know, skinned your knee or something like that, that made you cry, you really just were joyful. Like you were just happy being outside. There wasn't the stress. There wasn't the overwhelm. Like you were just outside enjoying nature. And there's just something so so unique about that experience that we don't get as adults as much unless we're really intentional about it. When we are adults, we get pulled in all of these different directions and we have so many demands in our life and responsibilities and things pile up and there's just so much to do between work and home and family and friends and 
you know, keeping a house and just the grocery shopping and everything that is going on in your life, it takes its toll. And unless we're really intentional about how we're spending the hours in our day, it can get away from us and it can get very overwhelming. And that's one of the things I love about routines is that you can you can take the things that you do often and you can build it into a very simple short routine so that it's condensed and then you have this go-to routine that allows you to get things done quickly and efficiently but they fit anywhere in your day depending on how you choose to stack it and that is one of the things I love about routines but you'll find the more that you use the routines that I share on this podcast the more you use them you will find that you have more time freeing up in your day and it's going to be up to you to choose how you want to spend that time. Now, one of the things that has been very recent um, that I've, or well, I guess not super recent, like in the last probably six to eight months, I've been paying a lot of attention to the time that I spend on my phone and looking at my screen time. And so you can look at that and you can see, is that where you want to be spending your time? Are you doing something else that's wasting your time? Are you watching a lot of TV that isn't super important to you, but it's just taking up time in the day. When you start freeing up these hours, you need to decide how you're going to spend it. And one of the things that I really want you to test if you aren't doing this already is doing a daily walk. And I can say for my own personal experience, this has absolutely changed my days. Um, I have been going, we have had our dog for just about four years, almost four years, I think it'll be, I think it'll be four years in June. And we have been taking him on at least one walk a day each, every day. The only time that that is different is, you know, if we're out of town and our schedules change, they might be a little bit shorter walks. Or if one of us has him all weekend and then the other one's out of town or something, then we'll do all of the walks. But that is literally the only time we don't take him on walks. But this is something that we have been doing and we have learned to like crave it. Like when we are going and we miss a couple days because the other one's taking over for those. It used to be in the beginning where it's like, I don't want to go back to it because it's been kind of nice having some time off and oh, it's cold outside. I don't want to go out. But we've gotten to the point where both of us is, it's like, no, I'll take him because I, I want to go outside. I want to go for a walk. Like we're now at the point where we are craving those walks because if we don't get them, our whole day feels different and you just feel sluggish and you feel like it's just not as bright. <laughs> it's not as, um, you, like there just seems to be more stress. And the more I dug into it, the more you realize like there is a lot of scientific research about why a daily walk is beneficial and why you should be walking at least or at least spending time outside uh, every day or at least a minimum of two hours a day. So I looked up some research and um, this one comes from most of these facts come from uh, an article in Healthline and I'll link it in the show notes. So um, I'm, I obviously didn't do this research myself. <laughs> I, I had personal experience. I can vouch for it. But that is the article that I'm pulling a lot of these facts from. So studies show that spending at least 120 minutes in nature per week can significantly boost health and well-being. Now, that is just two hours a week. And they say you can go for a full two-hour chunk all at once or break it up into smaller daily segments. But the benefits of it still hold no matter what you choose, which I think is really amazing. So they say even without greenery around, spending time even just in the sunlight or fresh air can help you feel better. So they went through some different facts and I pulled most of them, but think about when you are going for a walk and 
when you go outside and you go for a nice walk and you are walking through trails in the woods or at the park or wherever you are and then you come inside are you ever crabby <laughs> like unless there's like really bad mosquitoes out it you really don't get crabby like you feel better you can be having a really bad day you go out for a walk you get some fresh air you clear your head you just breathe that air and you close your eyes and you let the sun soak onto your face, you just feel better. So a couple of the things that they um, shared in that article that I thought were really cool were number one, you it promotes better breathing. You can breathe in the air and it actually improves your breathing. Number two, it improves your sleep. By doing this, it helps you feel more tired at night so that you want to go to bed. It shortens the time it takes to fall asleep and it improves the quality of your rest. And also when you think about it, the sunlight, you have to have the sunlight entering your eyes to reset your circadian rhythm. So Getting outside helps you do that, especially when you're walking and you're like looking into the bright sun and well, not straight at the sun. Don't do that. (laughs) But you're getting that um, activity in and you are getting the sunlight in to help reset your circadian rhythm. Number three, it's reduced depression symptoms. And it says sunlight can often help ease depression symptoms like low mood and fatigue. Number four, it gives you more motivation to exercise. Number five, mental restoration. We have so many technological things in our life. We have our cell phones, we have our laptops, we have our TVs, all of this stuff. We have our radios and music playing all the time. All these things that we have going on, it helps to just pull away from that and just take a reset. Like they talk about how ongoing overstimulation raises your stress levels even when you're not realizing it, which is very apparent for myself. I know personally I have experienced that a ton, that when I actually intentionally step away from everything, I find that I recognize how stimulating everything was when I was actually in it, but I didn't recognize it until I stepped away. Number six is boosted immune function when you're out in the fresh air. And number seven is improved emotional well-being overall. Not only does it help you relieve emotions like fear, worry, and sadness, but it also helps promote emotions like happiness, peace, and optimism. And I don't know about you, but all of these sound really amazing. So if you can Take even just five minutes a day and get outside and let the sun soak in and just breathe the air. Stand on your deck, go outside in the grass. If it's nice out, if it's like, you know, not freezing cold and snow on the ground, like take off your shoes and go barefoot outside and just feel the grass between your toes and just get outside, even if it's for just a couple of minutes. But if you can, take a walk. It doesn't have to be anything strenuous. If you want to go for a brisk walk, absolutely go. But if you're not feeling that, just go outside and just start walking around. You will be shocked at how much better you feel, especially when you start doing this day after day or make make a goal to do it, you know, three times a week. And then when you're laying out your plan for the week, plug it in on when you're actually going to take that time. But You're not going to be able to take these daily walks or these daily breaks unless you're intentional about it and you set it as a goal because life gets busy and you're just going to forget about it. So if you can combine it maybe with something else that you're already doing, whether it's during your morning routine, um, that's part of my ending of my morning routine or it's kind of between like I have this whole um, like routine in the morning that it's it's like my morning routine and then it's my business which I don't really include in my morning as my morning routine but it's it happens right after my morning routine and then I finish that with my walk with my dog before I start my full-time job and it, it sometimes gets a little bit wonky and I have to switch it around a little bit depending on the day but 
that it has been so so nice and like I said not every day you're gonna feel it and it's gonna be really hard to get out there some days especially if wherever you are is cozy and we're in the middle of winter right now and thankfully we've been having a mild winter weather wise for outdoor walks Um, but even if it was incredibly cold we would still be bundling up and taking him out and it's actually kind of refreshing um, even when it's freezing so it has been a game changer for my own life and I just want to let you know that if you are feeling overwhelmed and anxious and just feeling like there is so much on your plate and you're constantly trying to do something to stop and take a break because you deserve it and you also need it. And when you start doing this, you will find that you actually come back to your duties or to your responsibilities or to everything that's on your plate. You come back to it even more refreshed and you will tackle it better. And because your attention is going to be more focused. And one of the things that I want to also say really quickly um, is that if you are going out and you're taking these walks or you're going outside, try not to bring your phone or have your phone, but keep it in your pocket. And this was one of the things that I was doing is even though I was going on my walks, I still would come back and I would get into things. And I, even though I had these moments of being able to get outside, I also noticed that I was still getting, you know, a little bit more anxious. And I went for a walk one day, my earbuds weren't working, I think I had forgotten to charge them. They died in the middle of my walk. So it was just silent. And it was during the summer. So the birds were singing and it was so beautiful. And so instead of you know, being frustrated about my earbuds not working or turning on my phone and just playing something, you know, I usually listen to podcasts, but instead of just playing something on my phone and holding my phone and listening to it while we were walking, I just kept my phone in my pocket and I just kept it silent. And we walked through the park, like it was just the dog and I, and we walked through the park and I got to listen to the birds sing and I could hear like the crunch of the rocks under your feet and the sun was shining and the breeze was just softly blowing through the trees and it was so lovely like it 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 just takes you back to when you're a kid playing in the woods and you just don't have a care in the world and there's something just that like soothes your soul when you're doing that that I, I want to do that every day if I can. And so we have been doing that and it is something that I do not want to give up. And if you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious, try it for a few weeks, see how it feels, write it down and write down how you're feeling before you start it, write down how you're feeling, you know, after each walk and at the end of, you know, three weeks of a trial for it. And then look back at your notes and see how it changed each day and if it's something you want to continue. But I strongly encourage you to at least test it out and pay attention to how it makes you feel because it can truly just change your life. It's so good. And who doesn't want to feel like they're a kid again? So I hope this helps to give you some inspiration to get outside and get on those walks if you can do the walks but even if you can't do a full walk get outside and just get the fresh air and I hope this gives you that push to make the time for it because you deserve it and it will help recharge you especially when you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious and even depressed whatever you're feeling right now I guarantee you that getting outside is not going to make it feel any worse And it's likely that you will feel much better. Did you love that episode or learn something useful? If so, would you do me a huge favor? My goal is to grow this podcast and help as many women as I can break free from the overwhelm so they can truly enjoy their life. The best way for me to do this is for you to leave a five-star written review on your podcast app and to share this episode with a friend or in your Instagram stories. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next episode.
Take care.